Well, because of busy schedules, drivers rarely have time to get a bite to eat or even grab a drink. But what happens if something as simple as a sports drink, not having it, could kill you? That's what Miguel Paluto deals with every day. He can handle it. He's 28. But what happens when you're too young to even walk or talk? Recently, Miguel and his wife Patricia opened up their home to our cameras to share their family's story. We are very blessed to have Oliver in our lives. He put us on a different level of love. As soon as you see Oliver, you walk in and you see how happy he is. He, every time I've seen him at the track, he's always such a happy baby. But you've been hit with some news recently regarding Oliver's health. Yeah, uh, Oliver has diabetes, like Miguel. I have diabetes uh, for eight years. Mm -hmm. Diabetes is when your pancreas uh, doesn't produce enough insulin. Uh, so everything you eat that is carbs, that becomes sugar, uh, doesn't go into your cells to become energy. So the insulin sort of balances everything out. Yes, and it, it's a, a really thin line to manage your, the insulin because you, your levels actually, because you need to be between 80 and 130. When I go to the racetrack, I, I watch out more carefully about my levels. Before I get in, uh, I, I test my levels. If it's like 100 or something, I take a Coke or a Gatorade or something with sugar to, to put my levels a little bit higher. Once I'm in the car, I have water and Gatorade separate. So I, I can feel if my levels are high or low. Once I jump out the car, I test it again, and if I need to do a correction, I do it right away. I, I'm glad I had eight years to learn about diabetes and now I can teach my son how to manage himself and I'll be right beside him every time he needs me. Did he seem like something was wrong or how did you find out and how did you get him diagnosed? It's, it's really hard to diagnose. Even me being diabetic was hard to diagnose on Oliver. The chance that because of Miguel has diabetes, uh, is less than 6%. Yeah, the chance was less than 6%. So once you get thirsty, you lose weight, and you're not feeling well, uh, sleepy is, is one of, you know, the four yeah, symptoms. The, the worst one, it was hard to breathe. Yeah, He was hard having to trouble to breathe. Yeah. But. So we went straight to the urgent care, and uh, when they did blood, blood tests, I, I was beside the person. And when I see the levels on, you know, high, I said, he has diabetes, yeah. What will it mean for, for his yeah. life? Or what do you need to do specific to an infant to help him? It's the same treatment I've been through. Uh, he actually don't take shots. We just got a pump for him. So he have, has a pump attached to his body. And we, we just control his sugars level, like test, finger test. But at the same time, Oliver doesn't speak. So if he has low blood sugar, that's the worst case scenario. And I'm still nursing Oliver, what makes a little difficult for us to count in carbs and then give him the right amount of insulin. Mm -hmm. But we are doing fine. Yeah. He's it's the doing way it great. is, I think. Yeah. You know, you, you have to learn about things and the first, first months are the, the toughest ones. Well, and the blessing I think too is it's gonna be all he's ever known. He's gonna be just, have as normal of a childhood as any other child. Yeah, and make me feel good, like he'll be not at the school. Why me? No, I'm like my daddy. But you even mentioned that he seems maybe not happier because he was always happy, but he seems even better now yeah. that he's gotten diagnosed yeah. and you have the pump. Once we came back home, he was on the front door smiling, looking all over the place. It was what? like 11 o'clock at night, and he spent two days in the hospital. He was tired. He was looking like, thank you for, for like bringing me back, mm -hmm. yeah. you know? And oh, uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was amazing. a heartbreak. And it wasn't like so, small things. It was like, thanks so much, okay. you know? So that, that pays everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's all that matters. Yeah. How can you not fall in love with that face? Oliver was diagnosed just eight days before we did that interview. Tonight, Miguel races with a Unite for Diabetes paint scheme, trying to raise awareness for the International Diabetes Federation. I think they just raised a lot of awareness just by doing that interview. There's Miguel and Oliver right there for driver introductions. We thank the entire Paluto family.